New Zealand's journey to going fully electric has stepped up another gear with the latest divvy up of government funding. More electric cars, buses and charging stations are on the way. Chris Chang explains. Parisian tourists Eloise and Solène are saying au revoir to petrol as they embark on an electric journey around New Zealand. To try out a new way of travelling, maybe cleaner. The pair trialling this bespoke camper van as the tourism sector looks to get on board the EV revolution. So I think it's going to be OK because there is a already infrastructure. I think people are starting to get a lot more conscious around the environment and, and definitely our age demographic, of uh, main demographic being 18 to 35 year olds, they're very conscious of what they're doing and I think this fits very well for it. The company shelled out $25,000 for the vehicle but it comes on the back of the government's latest $3.74 million boost to the sector. Tourism is, is really pushing for it because it makes complete sense that when people come here that they can have you know, the clean green image and have that, that, that positive impact actually and not driving around with heavy, heavy diesel vehicles. The latest round of the contestable fund is going towards things like electric buses, other camper vans, with $1.7 million going towards improving charging infrastructure. Right now we've got a vehicle that, you know, that can travel 100 odd kilometres at a time and I think this will give more options so we're going to be working on vehicles that can have larger ranges and I think with the infrastructure um, our customers can get out there and on average they travel about 140 kilometres a day so I guess that's sort of the magic mark. Of course they'll still be harder to reach spots. It's going to be much more complicated but we are excited about going to the unknown. But if these tourists can do it they'll be paving the way for more to follow. Chris Chang, One News.